In this series we're going to be making an Android application that will be listing the top 100 albums from the APO API. And we're going to be using the latest technologies like the Jetpack libraries with Compose, Hilt and more in a MVVM multi-module architecture. You can also find the full project in the description. The first thing that we'll be doing is creating the project. So when we open the new project creation window, we scroll down to the empty Compose activity. We click next. Let's change the package to top 100 albums and our name. We make sure that language is Kotlin and minimum SDK is not that important at the moment, but make sure that it's not some old SDK. What we see here is this is our activity and this is our starting point from the application. We're going to be having only one activity, which means that every time we're opening the application, this is going to be the main part that we're seeing and from here on, everything will be separated into different components. Because we're going to be using Jetpack Compose, we will not be using fragments or multiple activities. We're going to be using only this as our main one and then separate everything from then on. What this project consists of currently, as you can see, we have our theme, a shape, if we're going to be using, but in our case, maybe we'll skip it. Our typo typography, different fonts and the colors. Usually we can keep that, but let's just delete it because we're going to be creating our own. Something we can do right from the get-go is edit a bit our manifest because we know that we're going to be using network connection for sure. Let's add some permissions to our manifest, which will be for the internet connection, which is the internet and access network state. Now let's go to the settings. We go to settings Gradle and inside here what we can add is one more repository which is jetpack.io We're going to be using some libraries that require that we have it and below it we can see that we have our project name and our module. Currently we have only one module which is up and we're going to be adding more of them but that's not the next step. What we can do now is go to the build Gradle and this is our main Gradle file. What we can see here is Android Studio is separating our library versions from everything else and we're going to be using the same way to do every library that we're going to be importing. Uh, it's just more easier to read and if we have to change something it will be just a lot easier to do it from one place than changing it on every single line of code. So let's add a bunch of libraries. This will be everything that we're going to be using. And as well, not only libraries, but we can also do our settings from the for the whole application. By the way, these are the versions that we're going to be using for the project, but depending on at what time you're watching this tutorial, a lot of things can change. So maybe some of the libraries can be merging together or separating. So keep that in mind. Again, so to keep everything more clear, let's just add another extension. And inside of it, we would like to add everything that is going to be our library, but this is just variables that we're going to be initializing with some text and we're going to be using that in the main build grade of files. These are going to be all the libraries that we're going to be using. You can check them in the description so you don't have to write everything yourself, of course. Now let's change the Kotlin version because 1.5 it's a bit older, so we will just change to the newer one, which is 7.1. Um, keep in mind, we're changing the Kotlin version because it might not support, the older versions might not support newer Compose libraries or, you know, any just any libraries. Because we're going to be using dependency injection Hilt as our library, we have to add it here as well. Uh, we do that by creating our dependencies. We just set it up like this. And one more thing that we need to do here is because as a database we're going to be using Realm, we're going to be adding it as a plugin as well. So let's add our Realm plugin over here. So our build grade of file is finished and we'll continue to the next one. Let's go to our application build grade of file and inside of it we're going to be changing a lot of the stuff. First at the top we can see all the plugins that we are we need to add a couple more. 
this will be the plugins that we need then we can just change everything that we set up as variables instead of having the in values here we can just change it to the variable bonus that we set to in our main build gradle file and let's change everything else as well next thing is to set up our dependencies we're going to be using everything that we created again in our main build gradle and just implement it here instead of just having a pure text we're just going to be implementing it like this and all the libraries that we're going to be needing for our main application something else we're missing at the moment but we'll be adding it in the future we'll be adding our modules as well because our, this is our main application, we will have access to every module that we create. But at the moment, we don't have any other modules, so that's why we just keep it like that. Because every module we are creating is going to be containing build gradle file, we don't want to have all this code contained in every single module, because that will be very annoying if you have to change something. You know you have to just go to the separate module and change it there. And in our case, we're going to be having modules that are going to be requiring the same kind of libraries and settings. So that's why we want to globalize everything in one place. And because of that, let's just create a new Gradle script. What I like to do here is work in the project tab because it's easier when we create the separate files and we just create a new one in the main directory. Or even you can just copy the build gradle file and paste it as well. And let's create, let's call it Android library build. Usually you might have multiple of these files that depending on what the module requires, you can just use that one. But in our case, we're going to be just using one. And let's set everything that we need on it. We're going to be needing, of course, our plugins add our android wrapper as well again it contains everything we're going to be using just on one place and our dependencies also keep in mind everything again is going to be added in the project so you don't have to write everything by hand these dependencies can be different from module to module but of course, we're just doing this as an example. So, so every module that is not our main one, which is application module, uh, is going to be using this library. Of course, if you have different modules that are not going to be using, for example, the Compose UI, you just create multiple files of this one. And just if you have like two or mod more modules that you know for sure that are going to be using very similar libraries, you can just separate your project structure like that. So it's just easier for you to change stuff in the future. Well, this will be for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you liked that video, please leave a like and subscribe for more.